My name is Jason Wishmeyer. I'm an interventional cardiologist practicing in Lubbock, Texas. Um, I also have an interest in wellness and preventative medicine and practice preventive cardiology in Lubbock, Texas. I, I like to point out to patients that cardiovascular disease is still the number one killer in this country. More people die of heart attack or stroke or heart-related diseases than any other disease. It's also one of the more economically challenging diseases in that if you survive your heart attack, you're likely to have problems that are ongoing, so it's a chronic disease. The fact is we can prevent most cardiovascular events and although we have made great strides in this in the medical profession in the last 20 to 30 years, we are nowhere near where we need to be. We understand at this point that cardiovascular disease and the formation of plaque in the arteries is related to inflammation and that there are many triggers and promoters of inflammation. Things like diabetes, heart disease, and in fact oral disease or periodontal disease are very tightly linked to arterial disease and events like heart attack and stroke. And we now know that it doesn't do us as much good as we would like to treat one thing without addressing all other causes uh, of inflammation and uh, disease within the body. The fact is, if you don't treat sources of information, inflammation, whether it's from periodontal disease or whether it's from diabetes, if you don't treat all things, you still maintain a risk of having cardiovascular events like heart attack and stroke, and these can be potentially devastating. Periodontal disease is also an inflammatory disease, and so there is a clear link between oral health and cardiovascular health. If a patient has untreated or uncontrolled disease in their oral cavity, they are at risk for heart attack and stroke. It's as simple as the inflammation which is generated in the mouth affects other parts of the body, including the heart, the blood vessels in the brain, and so forth. I liken it to if your neighbor's house is on fire, your home, your house is at risk simply because of the heat and the smoke and the fire that is in proximity to your house. If you don't deal with that risk, then you may have problems down the road which are potentially life affecting. A stroke is a devastating thing. Most people survive their heart attack, but what's down the road from that? So it's much better to address these things up front, preventatively if you can. If you already have heart disease, you need to think of whether or not you're in an optimal program to control all of your risks, and your risks always include your oral health. And so I encourage patients to make sure that they see their medical provider, see their doctor, their cardiologist should work with their general or their primary care doctor, and in turn all of these medical providers should work with the dental community and the patient's uh, uh, dental specialist to control their risks and do everything we can to keep them from having problems down the road.